second race of the year today. 10K off-road trail race. He's not coming, so he's looking very... Hey, hey, talk to me. Actually, I'm not feeling it today either. I am way too heavy at the moment. Actually, I just weighed myself. I don't normally go in for scales, but out of interest, uh, almost 230 pounds, which is a good 10, if not 15 pounds above where I'm probably best to be for running. I started the year with a personal best at the park run. I then did a race with him, 10 mile trail run a couple of weeks ago. We came third, which was awesome. What I should have done was capitalize on those successes and continued my training and efforts and got faster and faster, but I didn't. I had a cheat fortnight. And as somebody that used to be 23 stone, I can cheat quite well. Somebody asked me recently, why running? They could not get their head around running. And I have to agree, until recently, nor did I. If you'd asked me five, definitely 10 years ago, do you wanna go for a run? No, why? Have I lost my car keys? I did not see the point at all, but I kind of finally get it now. So as well as going for my run today, I'm also gonna try and explain why I run. First, I need to get him to go back to bed because he just looks so sad. Okay, I can't convince the dog to go back to bed, so he's gonna wander around and watch me get ready and just make me feel bad. Uh, it is supposed to be incredibly wet and boggy today, so gonna run out the mud claws for the first time this year. These fit like ballet shoes. Uh, they are narrow and tight and uncomfortable, but it is like having talons on your toes, and I would rather be uncomfortable and stay upright, so. It is green shoes today. Okay, got the gloves because it is freezing cold out. Everything's ready to go. The dog is still looking incredibly upset about this whole thing. What's up, dude? We have a run next weekend, so um, can you wait? Seven days, seven, seven. You can't count because uh, because he's a dog. Okay, the map is mapping, the seat is heated. I hate this car. Registered and good to go. I was going to wander around and try and get a feel for the, the terrain, but no need. Uh, there's a gigantic lake right at the start line that we run through, so uh, the terrain is wet. Competition. I was gonna explain why I'm now liking running. I like the health benefits, yeah, that's all great. And lately with the longer distance stuff, I'm also getting a bit of a buzz from just this, the feeling of being able to run. It's just great to go out and run for a few hours and just be able to keep going. That's all lovely. But ultimately, it's competition. Doesn't matter if it's a park run or an ultra run, uh, I have a need almost to see where I'm stacking up against others and to place myself in with a group of people and see where I come out. Okay, why running in particular? I can't think of any other activity that you can do every weekend of the year pretty much, multiple times on one weekend if you were so inclined, where you can go and find something as local or as far away as you want, whatever distance you want, and run with hundreds of other people and get yourself placed amongst them. You don't need fancy gear, you don't need a particularly high level of skill. Most of us can run. Um, it's not particularly expensive to enter races. Grab your trainers and off you go. And the other thing is that there is something quite primal about running. Um, we measure our fitness and our health with heart rate monitors and, and fancy watches and stuff. The rest of the animal world doesn't do that. They measure their fitness by whether they are alive at the end of the day. If they are, then they're in good shape. And if something's eating them, then they're not. Fight or flight. For thousands of years, as a human, I'd have to either run after something that I wanted to eat or run away from something that wanted to eat me. Now, you could argue that if I'm gonna use fight or flight as some sort of justification for a primal desire to come and do this every weekend, that I could also go and fight something. Uh, and get equal satisfaction. Uh, I could, but it would involve getting potentially punched in the face, and I would rather go for a run. So that's why running, but why is there this urge to compete? I'm actually gonna go and compete now. I'm gonna film that, 
and then I'll do the Y afterwards, back after the run. If it's of interest, I'm going to be filming the run with the GoPro 8. My plan this year was to use the GoPro Max, but my honeymoon period is slightly over with the GoPro Max. It has its uses. I've been out on the motorbike with it. That was quite cool. I've been out on the kayak with it. That was quite cool. But it's kind of going in my kit bag like my drone does. The post-production stuff is too laborious to do afterwards, and the resolution is too low. If you pull back, you can see it looks nice and sharp. As soon as you try and zoom in, horrible resolution. When they can do the GoPro Max with a decent high resolution image, uh, then maybe. But until then, GoPro 8 for this sort of stuff. Okay, pin this on and go compete. Okay, I'm back. Race, run, medal obtained. The race went okay. Um, I've done this race company before, different venue though. I know what their stuff is like, it is hard. Some people are running 5k, some people are doing 10k today, so it was a bit hard to pace myself because a lot of the fast people that went off at the beginning were doing 5k. After the first lap, all settled down, those people finished, quietened up. There was a guy in front of me in a green t-shirt who was a little bit quicker than me, so I thought I'll sit with him. At the end of the lap, there's a lot of water and he'd struggled through the water, so I thought if I can keep him in sight, I'll catch him up in the water. Man, he pulled away on the hills and I thought I'd lost him. But um, but then I eventually caught him back up, as you'll see, um, in the water and uh, and passed him. So um, that was cool. I like in my head to have a little target to chase down. Um, it's very, very hard to just run with nothing ahead of you other than the finish line somewhere. But uh, a moving human is a... A human being is as good a thing as any to chase down. It would have been nice if he'd been a tiny bit slower because I had to fly down the hills to catch him and three days on my knees are still killing me because of it, uh, because of that and probably the £230 issue. But I came 19th, which is not too bad. There was 196 runners scraped into the top 10%. That is good enough for me. So it was way too cold to finish this off in the car. I had to get home and shower and heat up. So I am back here now wrapping it up. Competition. I explained why running was my activity of choice to compete in, but not why I want to compete in the first place. So, 2019, end of last year, I looked at all the medals I'd achieved throughout the year, covering the wall, and I thought, what the hell am I doing? What is this all about? Am I trying to, I don't know, prove that I can still achieve and have a, a valid place in society? Is this a medal-based midlife crisis? What the hell was going on? I thought maybe it is. And then I went on Facebook and realized it wasn't. I'm a member on there of a car group for people that have quick cars, bear with me. There are often people on there posting videos of themselves racing against other cars. On the street, morons, the lot of them, that's not the point. The point is they take a huge sense of achievement in having competed in that way and won. What are they competed in? They're not competing with their mind or their body. It's not them. They're proud of having bought a better car than somebody else. What a lot of false nonsense, I thought. But then I thought about it more and realized that's what most of us are doing. We are competing and obtaining a sense of achievement from doing so in things that aren't really us. Look around, most people are competing in this weird way. I do, did. You are comparing the size of your house or your car or your children's success or your Instagram account. I used to use my job as the sort of metric for how well I was doing, how well I was stacking up in society. I can assure you that having come third in that race with him the other week, far greater sense, greater, at least as good a sense of achievement as anything I've ever had through work. Material benefits might be better at going to work because they don't pay you an awful lot for coming third the dog race. They don't pay you anything. But the sense of achievement of knowing that I and him, we, had done something that required nothing other than what we brought to the table was immense. I didn't need a car or an Instagram account or a, I didn't need anything. I needed me, my dog, my trainers. Clothing, you get the idea. Why are we competing? I just think we need to. Like every other animal, life is a competition. 50,000 years ago, the prize was staying alive, eating, and making little babies. Back then, you had to be better than most 
to ensure you were going to stick around. Knowing where you stacked up against something new you met was a survival instinct. It was essential. You had to know your place in the world because there was always somebody below you or something that wanted it. Now, given how important that instinct would have been, I can't believe there was not a small part of the brain still allocated to that job of looking around and wondering where we stack up against others. Are we going to be here come nightfall? It's just that it's using a rather weird metric nowadays to work out whether we are competing successfully because we've forgotten what real competition is all about. But I can assure you that my brain was triggered by getting that 19th position. In fact, forget 19th. Every 196 people there would have had their brain triggered by knowing they were better than most. Because most people weren't out running in the cold and the wet. Most people were at home in bed. So we were all surviving, competing, winning for real. Way more real than having a better car. Having said all that, I do get it. It's 2020, so covering all bases, my car is fast as fuck. <laughs>